Hello, welcome to lesson 20 of Mastering Java. I'm Jason with CodeLearner.com. Here we're going to learn about a new data type, one that we do have occasion to use pretty often, and it's called the character data type. Uh, and it basically holds characters. It holds the letters of the alphabet, uh, single digit, single character. So uh, it's what it's called. Now to declare a character data type, the keyword is, uh, much like we've had int and float and double, we have car, C-H-A-R, or care for character. We can really name it uh, anything we want. Let's call it uh, character, okay? Now, when you want to assign or initialize this character with some value, you can put any letter of the alphabet or any number or whatever you want in there. So let's do single quote R like that. What's going on here is we're putting the uh, character R into this variable. So let me show you if we want to print this, just like we always do, then typically we can put uh, like this, and we're just going to print out what we know to be true, which is the letter R here. So simply a character data type is a, a data type that stores these uh, letters of the alphabet and also symbols on your keyboard like exclamation point, uh, even the numbers and things like that, and we store it in there and we can print them out. So uh, depending on the kind of program you're writing, you may need to access individual characters like this, and this is a good way to store them. Now one thing I want to show you and tell you is that behind the scenes, every letter of the alphabet, every symbol on your keyboard, such as the uh, ampersand or the number sign or the exclamation mark, any of those symbols, really is just what we display on the screen, but there's a code behind the scenes, a, a, a number code that corresponds to each one of those characters on the keyboard. Java uses the Unicode character set, and so that means there's a digit that is represented behind the scenes that represents R like this. There's a digit behind the scenes that represents A. So right now I'm putting the, the capital A in here and I'm running it, and Java's printing a capital A on the console, but behind the scenes there's some number that represents capital A. So even though these characters, uh, variables, are, are really intended to hold letters like this and symbols, really you can kind of think of them as, as, as integers and when you change the number behind the scenes you're getting a different letter. And to kind of illustrate that a little bit more, uh, we have the character A right here and we're putting that on the screen as capital A. Because numbers really represent characters on every computer, if you take character and increment it by one that means character is equal to character plus one and then take the exact same statement so I'll just copy this and I'll bring it down and I'll print the same thing out again then what's going to happen is we're going to get B and if we increment character again I'll copy this again and I'll drag it down here If we increment things again and print the same thing out again what do you think is going to happen we get C so what I'm trying to say is whenever you're assigning these characters in single quotes to a care variable variable like that, um, you can think of it in terms of the letter that's being assigned, but you can also think about it as some code behind the scenes um, so that you can uh, increment and decrement the character. Even though it's of care of type care, you're still allowed to increment it and decrement it, which is basically increasing and decreasing the number that represents the letter. So when you print it on the screen, you see it updated accordingly. All right, so what I'll do now is I'll erase all this stuff. Uh, actually, I'll erase this stuff right here, and I'll kind of show you something that's very, very similarly related. Here, we've taken the variable that we have, and we've signed the letter A, and we've printed it out to the screen. Uh, but I could also say character, and I can just assign a number to it. I could say 85, and then I can print this guy back out to the screen like this, and let's see what it prints. It prints the letter U, capital U. So the number 85 behind the scenes in Unicode represents the letter capital U, um, so that even though this is of type care, we can still assign numbers to it, and the system knows that when we try to print them out, we want to print them as characters because it's a character variable. So you can kind of think of a character variable as really a, an integer data type with a with a smaller range, obviously. Um, but when we do things like print them out, Java knows that we're really interested in the symbol that it represents. Now you may be wondering, what are these symbols that we're talking about so much? Let's go ahead and write a quick little program to see what these symbols are. So let's declare an integer i that we're going to use, and let's do a for loop. i is equal to, let's start at 30, and I'll show you why in a minute. 
Um, so we'll go from i is equal to 30, and let's do i is less than or equal to, let's do 100. And we'll adjust these in a minute, i plus plus, and then we'll open a bracket and we'll hit enter. We have another clo closing curly brace here. So we have a loop going from 30 up to 100 and incrementing. So let's say that character is equal to i. So basically as we loop through, we take the integer that we have and we assign it to this character variable and look what happens. It says type mismatch cannot convert int to care because they're two different kinds of data types. But we can force this to occur as we've said uh, before by typing in care like this and here the uh, underline goes away. So whenever you see things where it says the conversion is not able to be done, you can force the uh, uh, conversion to happen by telling it on the right hand side, hey, I want you to treat this as a character and then save it over there. We've done that for integers and we've done that for floats up until this point. So that's what's going on there. So let's do system.out.println like this. And then we will say um, the uh, code the code is i, and it will say corresponds to, and then we'll do character. So basically we're creating a loop where we're printing out what the code is and what it corresponds to. Let's see if this worked at all. So let me drag this up and we can see what the Unicode uh, set is. Code 30 corresponds to a, basically a hidden character. It's a non-printable character. It could be a, a tab or it could be a backspace because everything on your keyboard has a code associated with it. The first printable one that we have is 33 which corresponds to the exclamation point. And then we have double quotes and all of these symbols that are shifts on your keyboard here. Then we get to the numbers 48 through looks like 57 corresponds to the numbers and then we get to the uppercase letters here and then after the uppercase letters, we have brackets and so on. And then we have A, B, C, D. Those are the lowercase number, uh, letters. We stopped at 100. Um, so it looks like we can actually go farther than 100. Let's go up to 150. Let's go ahead and do that. And you can see what happens here is A, B, C, D, E, F, G all the way through Z. And then we get some curly braces. And then we have question marks, which are look like they're not terribly valid for this kind of thing. So really, the uh, printable set that we were interested in looking at pretty much ends down here around 125. All right, so just a neat little program to write. We had to, to put the typecast in here of character because if we took it out, then Java starts to complain because here we have an integer and we're trying to save it into a data type that it doesn't know how to convert them. Here we're forcing it and saying, saying, hey, I know this is a number, treat it as a character and store it in there and then we can create our table which is what we've been able to do here. So now that you understand that, I want you to go off to the exercise and try to do that program yourself and check your work. The most important thing to realize is you can declare character variables. Um, you can print them to the screen with the print uh, statement. You can actually assign numbers into your character variables, which will just print the corresponding letter of the keyboard. You can increment and decrement those characters, um, which come in handy for certain situations down the road when we start talking about strings and different types of input output with letters from the keyboard.